number five. Trace Bruckler, New Mexico. Lobo tight end Trace Bruckler, number two on the team in receptions as a true freshman a year ago and the team leader in touchdown catches, a player that came to UNM as a wide receiver, converted to tight end during training camp a year ago, and it looks like the sky is the limit for the sophomore from Texas going into his second year as a Lobo. Number four. Sam Olson, San Jose State. Tight end Sam Olson from Visalia. This guy had flashes of greatness last year before an injury prematurely ended his season. Sam is big, he moves well in space, but his best attribute is he has hands like a wide receiver. Now remember, San Jose State has produced some great tight ends over the year, whether it was Gary Geese Jr. from last year, the great Josh Oliver, or the athletic Billy Freeman. And if things work out the way I think they will for a healthy Sam Olson, I think after the 2022 season, we'll talk about Sam Olson with that same group of great Spartan tight ends. Number three. Mark Redmond, San Diego State. Mark Redmond is a local product from Corona Del Mar, transferring to San Diego State from the University of Washington. He spent a lot of time on the field for the Huskies the last two years but didn't have a lot of opportunities in the passing game. And that figures to change this season after the Aztecs graduated Daniel Bellinger, who was drafted by the New York Giants. Redmond was one of the top tight ends in the country out of high school in 2019. Number two. Kyle Patterson, Air Force. Kyle Patterson's interesting in my mind because here's a guy who got hurt last year. There was some talk that he might redshirt. He's not going to He'll play out his senior year. And I think we're all still waiting to see what Kyle Patterson can produce. They didn't throw to him that much. You know, when they tried to do that, he got banged up. He still has the potential to have a great season. He's got great hands, talent-wise, potential talent. He's the best tight end they've ever brought in, but can he live up to all that? Or will they throw the ball to him more this year? Number one. Tanner Arkin, Colorado, Colorado State. State. Well, Tanner Arkin's a hometown kid who hasn't played a ton of football in the past couple of seasons. Two years ago in the COVID-shortened high school season, he was plagued by injuries. And last year, he redshirted at Colorado State, only playing in the final three games and registering only one catch. But previous coaching staff at Colorado State loved Tanner Arkin's upside. New coaching staff comes in this year and the same sediment. They love Tanner Arkin. Now, he's clearly not going to be able to replace the Mackey Award winner, Trey McBride, at tight end. But Colorado State, with Arkin manning that position, is going to be in good shape at tight end. 